Hey everybody, Steve with the Scapers Network, and today I want to talk to you guys about how to price your work in the landscape business. Specifically, how much should you charge per hour, and how do you figure that out? So let's do that right now. All right, one of the questions I get quite frequently is, you know, how do I know what to charge? How do I know what to charge per hour? How do I know what to charge for, for this job, for that job? I see it on the, not only on my um, YouTube channel, I get questions about it, but my consulting clients uh, ask me the same questions like, hey, you know, how, how do you charge this? How do you, well, what should I be charging for this? What should I be charging for that? And I think the, the bigger question is, is you need to figure out what you need to charge per hour in your business so that you can make a good, wage yourself and a profit for your company. So today I want to talk about that and I want to try to break it down, make it as simple as possible. I'm going to use simple round numbers. I'm going to use simple percentages and I'm going to try to make this as easy as I can. We can get way more complex with this and I highly urge you to do as much research as you can on this. But for now, if you have no idea what you should be charging per hour, I'm going to try and delve into that in a very simple way so that you can figure it out moving forward, especially since we're at the beginning of a new year. And I think we can really hone in on what it is we need to charge per hour by just looking at a couple basic numbers. And this is what, so this is what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need your operating costs from last year. So it's the beginning of 2021. What did it cost you to run your business last year? So, and, and if you have, an accountant or if you're using QuickBooks, you can look at your profit and loss statement. You're gonna to need to look at your overhead, your direct costs, those two things right there, your overhead and your direct costs. So you need to look at those two numbers and that will help you determine, you're also gonna need your field hour rates. So basically how, how many field hours do you have in your company? So, you know, say you're doing a $200,000 business, you got 4,000 field hours. You need to get those field hours. Um, you also need to know how much you're paying your employees and yourself included. So those are the things that are important. You need to gather that stuff up because that's what you're gonna need for this. So I'm gonna start with a real basic company here. We're gonna look at a $200,000 gross business. We're gonna keep it as simple as we can make it. So $200,000 gross sales, okay? And we're gonna, the next number I wanna put up here is overhead. Now overhead could range, you know, on the low end, 40%, um, on the high end, 50%, somewhere in those, in those parameters is your overhead. Now some companies are gonna be different, I understand that, some markets are different, and you may have a different scenario, but I, I highly urge you to try to pay attention to these ratios a little bit so that, when you're like say for example okay overhead what is overhead let's get that first overhead is any any direct cost that it costs to run your business so your rent okay your your equipment payment equipment repairs and maintenance your fuel um your insurance advertising anything that's administrative um your salary could go in there or your salary could go a little bit in the overhead and a little bit in the direct labor if you're an owner operator and you're still out in the field but any expense that it costs to run your business goes in your overhead so if we're looking at roughly a 45 percent overhead for this company at two hundred thousand, let's just say our overhead is nine hundred thousand dollars so or ninety thousand sorry not nine hundred you'd have you'd be in a lot of trouble if you had nine hundred thousand dollars of overhead in a business that does two hundred thousand dollars in sales just saying so anyway so you have ninety thousand dollars in overhead so all your all your expenses come to 90 grand a year okay um now you have to buy materials so say for example you have to buy mulch you have to buy trees you have to buy plants it all varies by industry but in the maintenance world i'm looking at about 15 percent for my materials so let's just say i have about thirty thousand dollars in materials so plant materials whatever it takes to do the job the next number we're going to talk about is our direct labor costs which is basically payroll so uh, for a company this size you're looking at about a 30 percent labor cost um so i'm going to put that out there you're looking at sixty thousand 
and that's your direct labor. That's basically what you need. You need your overhead, you need your materials, and you need your direct labor costs so that you can figure out what your per hour rate is going to be. And you also need to know your field hours. So in this particular company, we're gonna use $15 an hour for our average employee. You need to make sure that you figure out what your average dollar per hour is. If you're paying some people 20, some people 10, some people 15, you need to add those all up, divide them by the number of people that you have, and that'll give you your blended rate. For this, we're gonna make it simple, 15 bucks an hour. It's our blended rate, it's easy. It's a fictional company, so that's what we're gonna do. So if we have $15 an hour, we don't, I'm not gonna account for overtime or anything. I'm making this very easy. Um, basically that will equate, I'm gonna say I have two full-time people. So two full-time people and one part-time person at 15 bucks an hour. Now in my neck of the woods, in my neighborhood, uh, we work about 1,500 hours per year in the summer. And I'm gonna have two people at that, and I'm gonna have my part-time person, which could be the owner, could be me, could be you, we could put, like I said, you could put some of your salary here and some of your salary here. It doesn't really matter. Let's do a sidebar. Salary is not the same as profit. Salary is not the same as profit. Net profit is what you make after you pay yourself. You have to put a salary in there. I've had so many consulting clients of mine come to me and say, well, I don't take a paycheck. Or, oh, well, whatever my company makes for, my, for the profit is my, that's my salary. That, that doesn't work. It's not gonna work in the long run, especially if you're trying to grow your business. Another thing to talk about before we move on to this next section, your overhead. You might say, I got a $200,000 business and my overhead isn't anywhere near that. But I work out of my house and my and my mother uh, takes care of my books for me because she's a retired bookkeeper and she's doing that for me because she wants to help me out. Well, that's great, but you're gonna have to, eventually if you wanna grow your business and make it larger and you don't live in a property that has tons of acreage and a barn out the back, you're gonna need to get a facility at some point, rent or buy or whatever. Um, you're gonna have to hire an office person eventually, some administrative people. So you need to, to worry about scaling for that. And so, you know, you, if your overhead's a lot less, you might be able to charge a lot less per hour, but you have to also look at what the market will bear. And we're gonna talk about that in a few, in a few minutes here. Okay, so let's get back to what we were talking about. So we have two full-time people at 1,500 hours, one part-time person at 1,000 hours per year. 15 bucks an hour, we're gonna make it simple. So we have a total of 4,000 field hours. Okay, that number is super important because you need that number to divide into this number. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our $90,000 of overhead, okay? We're gonna take our 4,000 field hours and we're gonna divide that number 90,000 divided by 4,000, and that is gonna give us the hourly rate that we need to charge just to recover the overhead. So I'm gonna do that here because I can't do it in my head. I'm gonna do 90,000 divided by 4,000, and now that equals $22.50. So now we have to charge $22.50 per man hour to recover our overhead. You guys follow me? I hope you're following me. So you took this 4,000 field hours, that's how many hours your, your people worked, divided it by the total amount that it costs to run your company as far as your overhead is concerned, and you came with, up with 2250 per man hour. Now why do these two numbers not matter here? Why does the materials and the direct labor not matter? The direct labor matters because we need this $15 an hour. We need that blended hour rate. That's our next number we need. This $30,000 is basically an expense that gets recouped and you could mark this back up and then maybe your profit could be higher. But for this exercise, we're not gonna mark it up. Okay, so we've got our 22.50 per man hour and I'm going to take now our direct labor, our blended labor rate. 
of $15 an hour because that's how much we're paying our employees. Now remember, there's a labor burden on that $15 per hour. So you're, you're talking about taxes and things like that. Where is that money? Should be in the overhead. Okay, some people don't do it that way. I do it that way. And I think that works for me. So now we're going to take the 2250 that we need to make to recoup our overhead and the $15 an hour that we need to pay our, our employees and ourselves, if we're, if we're included in that, and we're going to add those two numbers together. So 2250 plus 15 equals 3750. And that is called your break even point. So if you're charging $37.50 in this scenario, you're breaking even. So you're able to pay your overhead, you're able to pay your, your employees, and you're breaking even, okay? Your materials, you're charging those out to the customer at an additional charge to your labor. So if you spend $30,000 in materials, theoretically, if you mark those up, say 20%, that's $6,000. You can mark those, you wanna mark those up anyways. But for this exercise, we're kind of leaving them out of the, out of the mix, okay? So we have our $37.50 break even point. Let's say that now we have to figure out what we want for our profit, okay? Well, you know, we're between 10 and 15% profit in this industry, maybe maybe 20 if, if you're doing really good. Um, 25, I, I don't know, I hope it's more than that. But we're gonna say for the argument, let's just say we want, we're gonna keep our numbers simple. We want a $5 an hour profit, which is gonna roughly add up to about 10%, you'll see in a minute. So 37.50, because that's your profit. Now you have your dollar per hour rate of $42.50 of what you should be charging your customers, okay? Does that make sense to you guys? So let's see if this math works and, and if everything adds up to this 200,000 using the scenario I just gave you, okay? So let's take our $42.50 and multiply it by 4,000 field hours, because that's how many field hours we're working, and see what it adds up to. That adds up to 170,000. Well, what happened? We, what about this? I thought it was supposed to be 200. Well, we didn't put the materials in there. You're gonna charge for those materials anyway. So those materials, that $30,000 gets charged on top of this hourly rate. Okay, you don't wanna mix it in with that, but you wanna charge, and you can mark those materials up, but for the sake of simplicity, we don't wanna make any money on our materials for this. So we're just gonna make it real simple and make it 30 grand. So now we're at $200,000 and the math works, okay? Now, I'm not saying you should charge $40 or $50 or $10 or $80 an hour. The, the, the idea here is that you should be able to figure out something really close to this to figure out what you need to charge per hour. Now, having said that, if you have low overhead, okay, or if you've got friends working for you for free because they just wanna work outside, you still, want to look at what your market will bear. Okay, well, in your neighborhood, in your in your city, you know, our other landscape companies are, first of all, when you're bidding work, are you getting every single job you bid? Because if you're getting every single job you bid, your prices are probably a little low. Are you not getting any jobs and everybody's like running away from you? Then your prices are too high. So you need to find what, what the industry or what the market will bear in your particular market and find out because if the average landscape company, you say the average landscape maintenance company is charging $45 an hour, well sure, you can charge $42.50, you're still making your 10% and, and everything is good, okay? Uh, and that's what you need to make so you can make that decision. Now if you wanna jack up your profit a little bit, then you can go ahead and charge 45 or 44 and still maybe beat the competition a little bit in pricing. But if the market's charging 50 an hour, then charge closer to that. If, you're, if your price here is, is only 30 and everybody else is charging 45, then 
charge 44 or 42. You know, keep it very, be competitive, but don't cut yourself short. And, and I'm on, on the other end of it, you know, if you can get more, great. But you have to, you don't want to price yourself out of the market either. So I think that this is a good, just simple version of how to figure out what your hourly rate should be. And then you need to take your materials, put them on top of that, whatever it is, if you're bidding a job, you know, for a, for a hundred hours and you're taking this 42.50, so it's, it's 42, $4,250. And then you gave them another $500 in materials. So you're gonna add, you're gonna mark those up 30% or 50% or 100%, whatever it is on top of that. Does that all make sense? I hope it does. I hope this helps. I really would like to see this industry um, understand how to price things. And this is a simp simple version. I know that there's a lot of other ways, there's other ways you can do this. There's other ways you can do the math, but you need something other than just a shot in the dark. Like, oh, well, I think I'm gonna charge 30 bucks an hour. Well, why? You know, you have to have s some solid background as to what you're gonna charge and how you're gonna charge it. Now, in a perfect world, everything works out and this 4,000 hours works out great, but what if your guys are blowing the hours on the jobs? What if you're going way over or way under? You could be making a lot more money. You could be making a lot less money. Those are all things to talk about in the future. Right now, this is all I want you to focus on, okay? Thanks for watching. Please hit subscribe. I know some of you watch and don't subscribe. If you're watching and not subscribing, please hit subscribe. It would really help me out. Um, I really appreciate it. If you guys ever need any help with your business, I run a consulting, a little consulting business on the side that me and my brother do. We do that. Uh, and we help smaller landscape companies grow to the next level. So our focus is landscape companies doing under a million a year. So if that's you, you wanna work with us, let me know, let me know in the comments or um, my emails on the, uh, somewhere, somewhere in this crazy uh, YouTube channel information that's out there. All right, hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.